So, Avengers Endgame. Clearly there are tons of emotions with this movie, both happy, sad, and every other spectrum that you can think of for emotions beginning to end. Uh, definitive, I'd have to say. This is the definitive chapter for what we have known of the MCU up until this point. Uh, brilliantly done. Yes, I think that the way that they culminated 10 years of film and 10 years of these characters that we know and love so well and they packed it into three hours, they did it marvelously. Technically 11, but they really hung on that 10 year thing. Ten, Even, 10 sounds cooler. It, yeah. it fits so well in the, Mar in the Marvel Studio logo. Like it's, I can never not see it anymore. 11 just doesn't fit. I'm Correct. Kidding. I think it's the thing, I think good thing about Marvel Studios, like they set up these movies with these storylines and people are looking the hype that usually like movies like that would disappoint to no end. But sure. it's always the opposite with these guys. They always deliver and this is this is no different. This is literally the perfect ending I could imagine for this like epic side we've been on of since course. two thousand eight. For me, it didn't even feel like it was three hours long. This was for me. This was the second time seeing it tonight, back to so back? I had I saw it back to back, yeah. and it literally did not feel like three hours long. It was just you were kept on like kept focused the whole time. You kept your interest, and like Robert said, it definitely had all of those emotions. But I think it flowed really, really nicely. It had you sad, and then made you laugh to get over the sadness, and then you know you're too happy, so let's give you some more sadness and it flowed really nicely and it didn't feel like three hours at all. Miyagi-Do would be very proud with the balance <laughs> utilized in this movie as would Thanos. Yeah I would say though that there are certain points in this movie towards the beginning that were kind of slow for me and I was like okay let's kind of pick this up a little bit but once it started get the ball rolling then you were like in it. So for me there were certain parts in this movie that were just a little too over convenient for me uh, that I wanted answers to and they're just they simplified things to the lowest common denominator and it was only those couple times in a movie that's all over the place in terms of narrative which is fantastically well woven um, but yeah when there's only two things it's like hey we gotta take some liberties here we can't really just focus on this for too long that's a whole movie in itself that to me was like all right i get why you guys did that but everything else they did focus on the journey that we do travel in this movie uh is definitely top tier and the russo brothers and the team behind the writing uh definitely again brought their all that's what they do yeah, they were able to keep it surprisingly streamlined and sure something i, I noticed is it reminded me of the clint eastwood like world war ii saga like black godfathers and letters to iwo jima mm -hmm. where you show like the same the same story but from two different perspectives the first one we had Thanos' perspective for the entire film. This right. one, we have the Avengers. They are forefront. They are front and center. Of course. And yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone who's been in, this, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for like so many plus years, they still, everyone still got it. Yeah, of course. They, they're, everyone's still bringing their right games. No one's half ass yep. in this. Certain and characters get more shine than they've ever gotten, and they're yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever, Whatever it, it takes. takes. And I feel like everybody did get a little bit of the piece of the pie that everybody felt properly placed and not shoehorned in at any point. Everyone no, had their every, place. Everything felt completely organic. Assembled yeah. properly. So, what did you guys think of Avengers Endgame? Tell us down below because I know you're not going to keep it spoiler free. It's kind of impossible <laughs> at this point. So if you have not seen it and you're still kind of waiting for the crowds to die down but you wanted to hear what our thoughts were, stay away from the comment section. Just like, you can subscribe and do the thing. On our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Starbucks. All the social networking. Jinjo and Tino are there. Kick the party, feel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Get us where we need to go. Do full length TV show reactions available on our Patreon now uh, for Cobra Kai and Game Game of Thrones, Chance was there for it with us for one of the Game of Thrones. Well, yeah, that was out of town the last one, but I'll be, I'll be there for the next one. Okay, that's exciting. Thank you, Chance, and thank you, Jenna, for joining us. Yes, and thank you, Vanessa. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Vanessa's <laughs> never not here. She is the Garth to my Wayne, so but thank you. I will say before, I'm There she goes. She it. slams the brakes I'm again. snapping this conversation <laughs> right now uh, to the point that I'll give disappear. it a five out of five. Five out of five, yeah, of course. I, I would also give it, uh, if I had to for a couple of gripes, it's like 4.9.9 .9 out of five. Like, it's a five out of five. So, 
five out of five for me. Although I do, I, I'm really not happy about Captain America shaving his beard. Yeah, <laughs> real not happy that, about that. That's, uh, that takes down to two and a half for me. I already <laughs> had, <laughs> I already had that happen to me in Sunshine, so I've already gone through this turmoil. So. Oh yeah, uh, but if, if, not if, if over we're giving it. Cap, if we're giving Captain America's beard a pass, then yeah, it's five two out of showings five wasn't also. enough to get me through it. And we will definitely watch more. We will have a full spoiler review available on our channel we'll soon. Thank you guys so much, and as always, it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye.